Hi! Today for me is very, very exciting. I've been wanting to play Lawn Mowing Simulator for ages, so I got a code from the developers on Steam, but my PC was too slow to run it. So I thought, you know what, never mind, I'll play it in Xbox Cloud, except the cloud was, um, well, too slow to run it. But I've got it on Game Pass on a real Xbox now, so let's go. Who am I? I'm definitely gaming host. All right. This is very exciting. I'm ready to mow some virtual lawns. I will have played bits of this before because I played some in the cloud, but I've got a new Xbox account since then. So we're good, we're good. So we won't have the data from before, but we will have to play through the first part that we played through before. So my Xbox is just syncing data. Advertising the DLC, I haven't even played the main game yet. The main game comes first. So let's jump in. Okay, just getting some notifications. In career mode, you run a new lawn mowing company, completing contracts to earn money and reputation points to help build up your company. As your company grows, you can expand by purchasing new vehicles, hiring employees, and unlocking new location contracts. Let's create a new career in Safe Stop 1 then. We'll play with the tutorials. In this mode, you create your own lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers. Your company needs a name, logo, and uniform. Company name. We don't want slot one. We want. Um, let me do GTHQ lawns. Why not? GTHQ lawns. I need a capital for the L. All right. I hate typing on console keyboards. They're always a real pain to use. GTHQ lawns. All right. We've got a company name, now we need a company logo. I quite like that one with the tree. Now I've got that, we can design our player. Player name, host. Because I'm, I'm the one playing this. Oops, I've, I've typed the wrong letter. Host. Player avatar. And so that one. We can change our hat as well. We will have a GTHQ purple hat actually. Ah, oh, it's kind of that colour. Logo placement. We'll have it on the front. Uniform colours. Let's once again go with GTHQ purple. And for the primary colour, we'll go with a slightly lighter purple. I'm excited for this. We're all done. Are you happy with your company setup? Yes, I am. Now you have a company, you're going to need a vehicle. Select the vehicle and take it for a test drive. The vehicle's equipped with a collector type of deck that means as you cut with it, the grass clippings are sucked up into the vehicle's hopper. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine or your hopper is full. Alright, let's go with this one. Why not? Let's take it for a test drive. I am sure. I definitely want to test drive it. Alright. Here you can familiarise yourself with a particular vehicle and conditions similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle to get on it, use L to move and R to look around. There's our vehicle. Hold X to start the engine. Um, y changes the view. Just hold X. Oh, there we go. Then I can use increase the throttle. Use right trigger to accelerate. And left to brake and reverse. All right. Hold X to start the engine. Increase the throttle. And then... When the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to it, then drive it to the grass and you can start cutting. Okay, once on the grass, you now need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut height. How do I do the cut height? I, I didn't read it properly. Oh, up and down.
All right. I'm not properly reading these messages. All right. Warning, you're cutting at the wrong cut height. What cut height does it want me to cut at? Let's try six. There we go. No, you're cutting at the wrong cut height. It hasn't told me what it wants me to cut at. See, it seems happy with that. How much of this grass am I being expected to cut? I'm not sure. All I know is I'm going around and cutting grass. I don't expect that I'm going to get paid very well. I'm fine with that. Let's go around and cut some grass. I'm just going to turn down my volume because it's quite loud. Alright. I'm not doing a very neat job of this, but I'm fine with that. I think that looks pretty nice. I don't know how neat they'd expect it on a real contract. Apparently I'm overloading my engine. You can do preview. Ah, no, the wall. Sorry, wall. It's all right. This sun is on this game is like what it looks like outside my window. We're in a we're in a big heat wave right now here in the UK. So looks identical to outside my window. I'm cutting at the wrong cut height. I don't care. Put up with it. I think the grass looks quite nice. I also have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. I'm doing something. Do I need to up my cut high? My progress isn't going up. Is that because it's the wrong cut high? Do you want a lower cut high? Why is the progress not going up? How do I figure out what cut height it actually wants? Maybe it's this. My my cutting skills are amazing. Grass is looking brilliant. What have I banged into? Oh, just a bush. That's fine. Hang on, which, which side is the front? That side, all right. Let's go down here. Find some new grass to cut. New, fresh grass. This tutorial lasts quite a long time. I think I need to stop editing the view because it's a bit confusing. I'm overloading my engine and and I care because let's go get this bit over here haven't done this bit yet they're gonna have some very messy lawn mowing jobs but I don't care I'm definitely not gonna bang into the tree I'm just gonna drive through it see we're halfway through through the aim now I quite like this vehicle though it's nice and smooth See, halfway now, we are nearly, well, we are now at 10%. That's halfway from where we need to be. I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty proud of my awesome lawn mowing skills. I'm just driving around and having a blast, to be honest. Beautiful scenery of Great Britain. There's also some DLC for this. There's a Stonehenge DLC. Is it called Stonehenge or is it called, like, Historical Landmarks or something? I don't know. It's got Stonehenge in it, where you go and mow around historical British landmarks 
And then there's also a dinosaur DLC where you go and um mow around dinosaurs, do some mowing at Jurassic Park. I don't know. The DLCs aren't included with the Game Pass. Sadly, you have to buy them separately. But you do get a discount if you've got a Game Pass. Not that big a discount. I think it's 10 or 20%. But it's still better than no discount. I'm not complaining. See, I found a long strip that hasn't been mowed now. See, I'm getting better now. I've done a, I've done a nice straight line. Look at that. Now I've completely ruined everything I just said and gone back to doing wonky lines and um banged into the banged into the boundary. And then I forgot how to reverse, but it's alright. This is chill. I'm a pro at this to be honest. I'm overloading my engine, like I said before, I don't care. I'm cutting grass. I'm very happy with my grass cutting, to be honest. Inspirational. I'm going to do some grass cutting in real life. Which way am I going? That is the front of my vehicle, right? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. I was pressing reverse instead of accelerate. Fine, I'm nearly there now. Nearly there. It's alright, we're going backwards. See, I'm usually good at controls in games, but this time it's not too good. I'm not too good. Let's get this big bit here. I thought I was good at controls in games. I've ruined my great reputation for controls. I don't know what I'm doing. I've lost the plot here. Kind of need to go the other way because I've done most of down here. But I'm not sure how. I'm going to switch views. That might make it easier. So there's something I can do here. See, what nice looking grass. What nice looking grass. I don't know if, I don't know if it's the vehicle or me, but I'm going to blame it on the vehicle. A good carpenter always blames the tools. Or is it a bad carpenter? Uh, there's a saying. And it goes something like that. So it's a lot easier in this view. I don't know why I've been using the other view for the whole time, to be honest. Great work. In a real contract, you'll be expected to cut all the grass. Greedy. When a contract has been completed, you now have to store your vehicle on the train and then interact with your pickup truck to leave the location. So where is my pickup truck? Is it out here? Oh yeah, it's got a beam of light on it. Just here. How do you exit? Is it B? And now I get in here. Before you can leave the location, you need to store your equipment in the truck and your mower on the trailer. Get on vehicle. My vehicle is turned off. Does it want it? Hang on, wrong way. Does it want it right at the top? Turn off the engine. There we go. 
They wanted it right at the top. After completing the test drive, you can now purchase the vehicle or you would like to test drive on the others. I am not test driving another. I'll have that one. Okay, while well, the mower is great for open areas of grass, string trimmers are perfect for lawn edges and cutting around obstacles. Contracts now require you to have a mower and a string trimmer to complete them, so you need to purchase a string trimmer. Um, we'll just get this one because it's cheapest. It's the contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up, select the contract button at the bottom of the map for, to open it. Why not do this one? Why not? Employee, me, vehicle, well, we've only got one. And then equipment, again, we've only got one. Alright. Start. Not sure if I'm a big fan of the amount of vibrations in this game. I don't mind the the occasional vibration, but do I have a lot of vibration? Not great. 99%. 99%. 26 minutes to cut it. I am not taking 26 minutes over some grass. I am not taking 26 minutes. Ground check time limit 4 minutes. So we're going to have to ground check it. So we're going to need 5 centimeters to 6 centimeters cut height. And 99% cut. All right, I'll give it a go. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass that could be damaged or damage your vehicle. You can just skip the ground check and have the objects removed automatically. But this will mean you don't earn money or RP. I will find the objects myself. This sounds fun, to be honest. Just need to look around and find some objects. Can't be that hard, right? I've got four minutes to do it. Is that something? Pick up A. Is that something? A. See, told you it wouldn't be hard. I told you so. A. A. See if I can do this that quickly, then I can mow the lawn in quicker than 26 minutes. There we go. A. Return to vehicle and unload the... Return to the trailer and unload the vehicle or equipment to start cutting. Turn on. Cut height. Six centimeters. Why did I choose to play this game? Why did I choose to play this game? I can't not even get through the gate. See, that's a start, right? That's a start, right? Uh. Getting there. Getting there now. Yay. The performance you're uncutting will affect how much money and RP you earn from the contract. You need to find a balance between speed and careful driving. Avoiding damaging the flowers all lawn while cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. What's it mean, not engaged? Oh, now we're engaged. I will not break the flowers. Well, um, it's all right. I prefer the aerial view, to be honest. That's better. Your vehicle's motor loads display in the bottom right. If you overload it and cut too much grass, you will suffer engine damage on your cut quality will be affected. Well, I wouldn't want that, would I? See, this is chill. Just put, just pushing that bench. Just pushing the innocent bench. What did the bench do to me? Absolutely nothing. I'll go in a circle. That will look well cool. You've managed to damage the ground and destroy some of the grass. Ground damage is caused by turning your vehicle at full lock for extended periods of time. You will earn as penalty and fines for some locations finding higher amounts than others. Well, I thought I was just, I just found a cool way to cut the grass, but maybe not. What I'm going to do, right, I'm going to drive around 
well, do most of it, do the majority of it, and then I'll come back and get it to where it needs to be, I guess. All right, let's go this way. So I haven't done down here yet. I hope I hope they like what I do. I hope they like it. I really do. I don't want it to moan at me. That's all I don't want. I'm a pro at lawn mowing. There we go. I'm already at 20%. What more could these clients ask for? I've only done one thing wrong so far. Well, two actually. I squashed some flowers, but I got all the stuff on the ground check. And this is pretty neat, if you ask me. It's a bit more serious than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting a kind of playful, funny lawn mowing simulator, but it's more like farming simulator. It's more serious. I suppose it is a simulator, so it's meant to be like the real thing. But then I'm very generous with the term simulation. I define Two Point Hospital as a simulation game, which I suppose it is. I suppose it's just a different type of simulation game. I've mowed their pavement for them as well. How nice of me. Extra added bonuses if you mow your lawn with GCHQ lawns. See, me on lawn mowing simulator is like me mum on Fall Guys. My mum on Fall Guys is not a pleasant sight. I wonder if I could mow my, mow my name into the lawn. Mow host into the lawn. See, this bit's gone a lot more successfully than other bits. It's got more of it mowed. Not into the flowers, host. Let me get this bit here. See, I'm at 30% already. This is going well. And I'm now a third of the way through. How does this take 26 minutes? Remind me there. This does not take 26 minutes. I must be really good at this. not the flowers you destroy the flower fining curves okay that's two mistakes i thought the first flower ran over was a mistake but clearly not because no pop-up appears see i'm getting to 40 percent now on the way to 40 percent like i said i'm really good at this i told you i'm good you destroyed another flower. Maybe I'm not as good as I originally envisioned. Um, backwards, I guess. This way. I'm nearly halfway now. Let me go carefully around this tree. I was trying to go around the tree. Uh, not into the bushes. I don't think it's part of the job description to mow their bushes. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right. I need to get out of this, but I'm just causing a mess here. It's all right. Look at this beautiful grass. They're going to love it. Here we go. I might switch views because I'm getting a bit confused with this view. I've just destroyed all their flowers. That's okay, right? It's fine. I'm back on the grass now. There we go. Let me switch back to the more peaceful view now. I've got myself out of that mess. Oh, here I am at another bush. 
Hang on, so I just got myself out of that mess. I think that garden looks better without flowers, you know. I'm giving myself some credit there. I give myself credit where credit is due. I hope it's not too many fires, because we only just started and we don't have much money. Here we go. This is going so much better. I just jinxed that. Here we go. Here we go. We're going fine. I'm just looking for the bits that I haven't mowed and then mowing them. I think that's a normal strategy for it, right? Not that way. That's the wrong way. Here we go. Maybe it does take 26 minutes. I'm guessing it'll take me more like 15. See, in 8 minutes 20, I've, I've mowed 50, 60% of their lawn. Obviously, I've destroyed a few flowers along the way, but it's worth it for a mowed lawn, right? And a load of not mowed patches, but I can fix those. I'm fixing them right now, right now as I talk. As we speak, I am fixing broken lawns. I destroyed another flower. I am very proud of myself. I want to destroy 100 flowers today. That's my new aim, because obviously I can't mow the lawns. So let's just destroy flowers instead. Aha, I found an edge bit that I hadn't done yet, so that will give me some extra points because I hadn't done it yet. Here's another edge bit that I haven't done yet. This garden's a bit big and I'm kind of losing my bearings, but I'm, I'm just going around having fun. Making the most of it before I get sacked. See, that was a big unmowed bit here. How did I miss a bit that big? There's a massive unload patch. Look, just there. Here we are. I do what no other lawn mowing company does. I muck up the lawns. My engine condition's top. Top notch engine. Here we are. Can you tell that this is my favourite view? I've tried the other views, but I just keep going back to this one. Just like we say, you came for the games and you stayed for the fun. Except this time, you came for the games and you stayed for the fails. Um, same thing. Alright. I don't know how to get these last bits because they expect a 99% success rate. And I'm only at 70. And that's not great. What would they do if I just left? Walked off the job? Do not try that at home. Alright. Oh, here we are. At the big patch that needs doing still. Let me do that.
There we go. As stated previously, I'm a pro at this. Somewhat. I don't know how I'm going to finish this, because to be honest, I'm not great at this. Seventy-four percent. I'm getting there now. The graphics are so nice. I could stare at these graphics for hours. It's just that I'm not very good at the game. Here we go. This way. Just a few flowers destroyed, you know, not that bad. I'll buy them some new flowers, you know, I'm nice like that. There we go. I don't know what I'm meant to do because I've mowed the majority of the grass. And now I'm just going around searching for the bits I've missed. But then it's a, uh, I'm not very good at these controls. So it's a bit hard to get on exactly the right bit. So I'm just messing things up for the company. Maybe 26 minutes will be about right. See, there's bits here that need doing. Nearly 80%, to be honest. I think that's pretty good. For me, and my track record on these sorts of games... Like, can you imagine me on Forza? I'd be awful. I have tried Forza. And I can recall being awful at it. This is like a proper proper workout. Mowing this lawn. There we are. There we go. Here's another bit that needs doing, and another bit. At least the controls. So, the premise of the controls is easy. It's just my control skills make it harder. So, if you're generally good at racing games or simulation games of this sort, like Forza, they're very, very similar to the controls of Forza, and I think you'll be fine with it. Just, I'm not good at that sort of game generally already, so that makes it harder for me. But if you already like this sort of game and you're already good at controls for this genre generally, I think you'll be fine with it. So even if it's not my sort of controls exactly, some people will be absolutely fine with it, although others may not be. At least it is an experience for the homeowners and for me. Even if they don't end up with the neatest lawn, I don't care doing it for free. I do stuff for free. While we're here, I'll let you guys know we're live streaming an event on July 22nd called GTHQ Connect. We're going to let you know about exciting announcements and improvements, so if you guys would like to tune into that, that'd be awesome got a lot of stuff that I've been really really excited to tell you about for ages now so I'm going to be very happy if you guys are willing to tune in
86% now. I'm just going around getting all the little bits that I've missed. I think their lawn looked better before, to be honest. Before I had my fun with it. It's fine, I'll keep going. Although, I don't know how you're meant to do a job if you don't believe in what you're doing. If you don't believe in what you're doing, you're going to quit. And you're going to fail. That's an inspirational quote from me, to be honest. Feel free to use that out of context. I'm happy for that one to be used. Don't use a lot of what I say out of context. But that, that we can use. Inspirational quotes from GTHQ. Oh, I've slammed into their house. Is that worse than the flowers? Hasn't left a dent. It'll be fine. Yeah, so one thing. Don't try lawn mowing at home unless you're very experienced with it. Don't just get the get the sit on lawnmower out of the shed and think, you know what, I'm going to do some lawn mowing today. Because it might end up disastrous. Get supervision from your parents, please. When lawn mowing. Safety always comes first. Or, if you don't fancy doing the lawn mowing, just play lawn mowing simulator. You know, very realistic experience. Lots trickier than in real life. Terms and conditions always apply. Um, I don't know why I did that. Uh, yeah, so I... Not the flowers. They're quite nice flowers and I'm just wrecking them. See, I'm nearly at 90% now, which means... Even if I get to 95% and not 99% and have to end the job early, I'm going to be very proud of myself. Because it's, it's quite hard work. It's like a workout in real life. My hands are sweating. So I'm going to be very proud of what I've achieved with it. I might play Farming Simulator. I have a feeling that's on Game Pass as well. Am I, am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. Maybe we need to give it a go. Because it might be similar to... It's quite similar to this in graphics and control from the impression I get. But something I'm more interested in. I'm more interested in doing some farming and looking after some sheep than I am mowing lawns. In the Great British countryside. Big estates, big homes, big games. All right, there's some tufts of grass. There's a tuft of grass. There's a bunch of grass. So I'm just now going round getting all the bits that I haven't got. If you haven't figured that out already, you destroy the flower. I know, I know. Alright, I figured that. I know the flowers are all going to get destroyed. Because it's me doing this. So yes, they may get destroyed. But it's fine. Because I'm proud of the job I've done and the work I've achieved. I don't know if I'll come back to this game. I'm not sure. I might come back to it. I like the concept and I like the ideas behind it. But I don't know if it's the game for me. The experience, though, is very unique, so I'm quite pleased with it. I've never played another game where you go around houses in Britain mowing lawns. So, I'm very pleased with it. And it's free with Game Pass, so what's not to love? Why have I it when it's free with Game Pass? See, I think 26 minutes is right. I'm getting the impression that they were right for 26 minutes now. I can't not finish this now, I've started it. I've got to finish it, I'm determined now. I made a start on this job and I'm not going to leave it not un and unfinished, so I'm going to finish it. There we go, get that bit. Little tough there. Little tough there. Little tough there. Big tuft there. All right. There's a little bit. See, I'm just adding the finishing touches now. Making my mark. There's a little tuft. There's a little tuft. There's a bit. 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 And there's a bit. So that's the majority of that corner done. There's a little bit. 
there's a little bit. There's quite a big bit there, actually. Just there. And there. There. I'm trying to look for the last bit. Oh, there's a bit. Yeah, there goes another flower. There goes the flower. Bye. Um, I'm not actually spotting any more bits that I haven't done. There clearly is some, because otherwise it wouldn't be asking me to do them. So I'm at 95% now, so obviously it's going to get quite hard to spot them. But there's a little bit. Just, if I'm right, just there. Yeah. There, there, there. Um, so where are the last bits? That's the question I'm asking here. Where are the last bits? Okay, I must have just gone over a bit there. Not I noticed going over it, but my percentage went up to 95.2. This is a very long video. It's getting very long. 41 minutes so far. 41 minutes of me mowing someone's lawn. Great stuff. There's a bit, actually. I don't know where I'm going to find any more now. 95.7 Next I'll be on 96 If I just keep driving around randomly Hopefully I'll run over bits That I didn't do before Because this is getting quite hard now Because of the fact that I don't know where the bits are that I'm looking for. So now I'm just kind of stuck. And then, I'm just, and then I just get lazy and wing it. Yeah, 26 minutes is accurate if you're good at the game. Because I'm at 25 now. Let me change the view. There's a bit, actually. a bit at the edge of this tree here. I thought that was a bit then, but it didn't seem to do anything. I might need to get another presenter in and get him to help me. I think they're all busy right now though, doing behind the scenes stuff. Because obviously I'm the main presenter, because I'm the most entertaining. But I don't know why I'm doing this game. Should have got someone else to do it who can actually do controls. Uh, yep, 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 those. You can end a contract early by returning to your truck and still earn money. Well, they could have told me that in the first place. I suppose they told me that as soon as it reached the expected cutting time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I can't be bothered with this anymore. I don't know how much money I'm going to earn. Because there's a lot of fines. Do you want to get off your truck hold B? I forgot there was a trimmer. I forgot there was a trimmer. That might get all the last bits. So 
So I can walk around, look for the bits I haven't done, like that bit, here, and then get it with the trimmer. I should have done that in the first place. It's like, there's a little tuft. Then just get the trimmer on it. Like, there's a bit. Although the trimmer doesn't seem to be doing much. Is it even working? Is it bad that I'm not even convinced that my tools are working? Well, yeah, let's just have a look at their garden. Quite nice looking, to be honest. Quite nice looking. Let me put this back. Oh, it has to go in the back of the car, not on the trailer. So here's my finished work. I think that looks pretty good. What have they got to complain about? There's absolutely nothing to complain about. So am I gonna am I am I am I gonna get some money? I got £131.46. Okay, so I've got a six pound ten for the ground check time bonus, then I got twenty pounds for the ground check earnings. Then there are £160 in penalties and fines, £139 for flowers, £21.50 for collisions, um, a 36 pence cleanup fee, and a 1 pence incorrect cut height. So, all in all, I made £131.46. Which is pretty good. And I've got an achievement as well, the first of many. Drive a total of one miles in career mode. I want one for completing my first job. That's this sort of achievement I'm expecting. All right, well, I guess. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I'll see you soon.